All right, I have got many, many, many requests to have Hogwarts crest that included all the houses. So we're gonna give this a go. And for all those who requested, thanks for the requests. Sorry it took so long. Yeah, life gets busy. Okay, so I want you to find the middle and you're just gonna do two double lines down the middle. It doesn't matter how far you go because we're gonna be erasing some. So we're just gonna make them kind of thin. Okay, so you just make double lines and you're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna be making like a plus sign here, okay? It doesn't matter how far you go because we're gonna be erasing the extra. What do we know? Okay, let's see, let's get this done. So we got a nice plus sign there. Hogwarts uh, is composed of four houses, which is Gryffindor Line, Ravenclaw Eagle, Hufflepuff Badger, and Slytherin Snake. So I think Slytherin Snake is the only one that, um, why did I think, you know, you would think they, you, tell me if I'm wrong. For somehow, I thought Gryffindor was, not a lion, but it must be a lion. Anyways, so Slytherin Snake is the only one that has the double S's. Cool. Okay, so now you want to find the middle, and then you're going to do one inch. What is that in centimeters? I don't know. Uh, it's close to about, is that? No, that's millimeters. So, or is that centimeters? Centimeters. So I think that's like one, two, I don't know. So I just know inches. So you're gonna go one inch from like, try to find the middle. Mm, this is like the bottom of the middle. So we're gonna do one inch there and we're gonna find the other inch. Do I have this right way? I do. Okay, then we want an inch on either side, okay? So it's inch, inch, inch. So it's kind of like equal. Then what you're going to do is we are gonna take this and we are gonna curve it. So that's gonna be a gar for a center crest. See, I'm just going like this. And when you Sharpie it, you can clean up all of your lines. Okay, we'll go along the top here. And then now we're going to close these off. Okay, so we have the center. So now let's do our H. So we can erase inside here because we don't need that anymore. Thank goodness for erasers. Sometimes I'd have art kids that'd be like, my teacher, art teacher doesn't let us have erasers. <laughs> I love erasers. They're my best friends, so I don't know how that works. So we're gonna do the H's. So the right part of the H is a little longer. So we're just gonna be making like a rectangle. And, but at the top part, it's going to just come out, bloop, bloop, bloop. Do the same thing at the bottom. Okay, now you're gonna make this other one over here and it's gonna be shorter. Awesome. Then we can put that swoosh right in the middle. Okay, and we can erase inside there. Okay, fantastic. I might have made the H a little too far apart. I think I'm gonna bring this in just a touch. Just a touch, because it looks like this H is just way too far out there. So we're gonna bring that in. Because then we can have our swoosh is gonna come out here and it will look like it's Fitting in there better. Okay, so this is your H. Fantastic. All right, so how far did I come up on this? Mm, I went about, it's about one inch in two centimeters. But you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're just gonna come in here, we're gonna make a V. So come in here, that's what I just eyeballed it. Make a V up there at the top. And then it's gonna come straight out on either side. Oh, we want it to go on top of that. Oops, that was a mistake. So you want to double it. Double this V. 
And then we're gonna make it come out just a little bit on either side. Okay, fantastic. And it's going to come swooping up here like this. Okay, great job. Okay, so the same thing, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I don't know if I got that right. This side might be a little more off than this side, or I didn't do this one long enough. Well, we'll just figure this out. Okay, so on either side, we're gonna be bringing this in because uh, how far down is this? We're just, I free balled this one, so now I'm just trying to figure out how I did this. Ah, it's about three inches. I could do that. One, two, three, coming down to here. So this is the end part. I got three inches here. We're gonna come up. I could do that. And there's the point. And we're gonna double it. And then we're gonna bring the sides scooping on either side here. And then we'll put the, the rest of the little characters in there. So this is gonna swoosh out and then we'll bring this in and out. I think we're gonna to add to the outside of that, okay. Yeah, looks like it's coming along. So the same thing, we're just gonna bring this down and it'll come in. Yeah, this works. Uh, Hogwarts has 142 staircases. It's a lot of steps. So they get their steps in every day, okay? They don't need a gym because they've got stairs. And as you know, the stairs change. And at my, probably said before, at my daughter's high school, Klein High School, they call the center looks like Hogwarts Alley because all the stairs are going different directions. It's kind of funny. Okay, so we're gonna double this up here. And then this is gonna swoosh, swoosh over. Swoosh, and it's gonna have like an end on it. There we go. Same thing over here. So we want it about the same tight, so we're gonna bring it over. Swoosh it up, bring it over, and bring it down. Once we sharpie it, it's gonna look all clean and lovely. Okay, so, but that also helps us figure out where this end is gonna go. Cause I was having problems with that. Finding out where the end should go. So it's gonna come up. Now we can just swoop it over the edge here. Yes, okay. So this will help us on this side too. Cause that's not far enough either. Whew, good thing we figured that out. What else do we know? Uh, the castle is full of secret passages and rooms. Oh, can you imagine how fun it would be oh, to have the, uh, the map and be able to look everywhere, oh, to go everywhere, find all the secret passages? That would be so fun. Actually, I'd be really scared because you don't know where you'd end up, but it'd be fun too. All right, so that part is done. Now we're gonna work on the characters. So we're gonna start with our snake. So we have our snake's head. So we're gonna do like a little jelly bean. And his body's gonna go up, over, and then up again. So this is his body. And it does loop around, so you make like a little loop around. It's going off the page, and it's gonna go underneath. Go behind it, and then here you can just bring it down. All right, we got the bottom snake mouth, so it's all <sighs> opened up wide. We'll put things in there. Don't worry, and put little things. And then his eye. And then we're gonna have a tongue that's gonna be in there. 
and put some lines up here. And on its back, it's almost like little decorations. Right there on his back. And then we have part of his tummies right here. So we're gonna make just lines in here. And we're gonna finish off this, this tummy down here. I didn't do it up there, but I might put a little bit in here just so it looks like it flows. And then you can put in some different double diamondy shapes around it. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we need to add one right here. I have the squeakiest chair ever. Okay, that one looks good. So now we're going to move on to the lion. Okay, so we have the lion's head. So this is his mouth. Make a C. Come up. He's got an ear. His mouth comes down here. This is his like nose right here. And then he's going to have all this hair that's going to just make a scalloped edge. Make his eyes. He's going to make a little more vicious. And some lines in here. And now we can put his mane. So we're going to put some crazy, crazy hair back there. If you want to put teeth in there, you can. And then for his body. And he does have a tail back here. And he's got his other leg coming out here. And these are just dark designs in there. And it looks like this is like his rib cage, but I guess I need to finish this off. So he's got like a rib cage in here. And then his arms is like. That's his one arm. And let's get his other arm in there. And then some hair. I think that looks good. And we can add some extra lines in there. And line right here. He's more of like a tushy. Alright, that's kind of like the line. Alright, so now we are going to do the badger. So he's got his nose right there and it's just going to come around. And he's got cute little ears here. I don't know. If, I don't know much about badgers. Are they nice? And it almost looks like a raccoon because he's got this. Oh, let's put the eye in there. I don't want to color that in. And this would be Sharpie doll in. And his mouth. Beep. And we're going to get his, his body. It's like a giant jelly bean here. So now we can put his arm in there. And his other arm. Little claws. We'll erase so his arm looks connected. And you know what? We're going to actually smooth this out a little bit. So let's make his nose a little bit more pointy here. It's kind of going into this, but that's okay. We're going to be sharpening this part in and put this in here. And let's do his back leg. So he has one leg and then he's got another leg behind it. So I'm going to erase this. And he's got a funky little baby tail. We will erase it, connect it. And then he's got his, his white fur coming in there. Okay, so let's do the owl. So we've got a big oval here, and then in that oval is his beak. So we can erase him there. And then his eye. Mm -hmm. This is his wings coming up, and I'm putting some feathers in there. Scallop, 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 scallop. All right, so we have that part. We have scallops here and another 
robes, scallops, what else do I know? Hogwarts is protected by several enchantments, so muggles cannot see it. Well, that's cool, right? I wonder if muggles, like, I don't know, probably part of the enchantment is the memory thing, so they wouldn't even come near that area. Because what if you're coming near the area and you run into it, but there's nothing there? What would happen, right? Or do they probably put like, it's one of the enchantments is you forget that you're there and it just kind of like puts you in another direction. Maybe, right? All right, so we've got our eagle. Okay, so we're gonna Sharpie this and I'm gonna show you how I do the yellow and you can do the rest. So let's sharp. Oh, and I'm gonna use the bigger Sharpie. Sharpie. I'm going to erase. Now, if you want, you can come in with your Sharpie. I, this is where a couple of mistakes I made. Sloppy right there, oops. And then right here, I forgot to like leave this part open. You know what happens, I'm gonna clean that up a bit, okay. Um, and if you wanna make some parts a little darker in here, you can, that's what I did, okay. So I'm gonna show you how I got this nice golden color. You're gonna take golden yellow, and you go in, you're gonna go a little ways, go lighter, and then maybe make one strip, and then come in here, make a thicker strip, all going the same direction. And make one more, like a one stripper. And the rest I'm going to just color in and make it go lighter. Okay, and then you can come around on the edge, give it some yellow. And then all these are going to be yellow too, coming out. Okay, so now you're going to take the tan color and now we're gonna put in our little, make it look more golden and you press some hard on some places, not on others. Make it wherever you go one, you gotta keep it going. I'm gonna put some right here. And make it lighter. So we're making it try to look shiny. Okay, do you see how it kind of gets that little shiny glare to it? And then I'm gonna go around the outside with the golden. Awesome. And then what I'm going to do with this golden, and so all of this around the outside is going to be yellow. So I'm just going to show you one side. You're going to paint. Ooh, I don't like that side. Let's do this side. I messed up over there. Yuck, yuck. Okay. So all the outside is going to be colored yellow. Golden yellow, not just any yellow. Okay. Then I'm just going to show you. You're just going to do some spots. So I'm just gonna put a little gold in here. I might come up here and do a little golden up here. I might come on, I think I'm gonna come in here, make one side all gold in here. And here, make it all gold and put that tan in here. Okay, so just some spots there. And then I'm gonna show you how I did the H. I colored the whole thing in gray Solid gray. It's 
super drop. And then now I'm going to take my black and I'm going to come in here and give it some little accents. I'm going to come up, go up along the top. And same thing over here. All right. And I think you probably can do the rest. So I'll see you guys later. See ya.